Hey guys, Joel here from eCinch. Welcome to our tutorial on maximizing your marketing efforts. In this video, we're going to discuss the importance of creating a comprehensive marketing plan and how to execute it effectively throughout the year. First off, we have a free marketing content calendar that you can download. Follow the link in the description and download that. If you want to pause now, go ahead um, in case you want to follow along with this video. We're going to be using the content planner in the video. And as always, if you want a better way to sell your services online, head over to e-cinch.com. Um, the, the link is in the description as well. And create your free eCinch account today. The first step in creating a successful marketing plan is to assess your current situation. Take a look at past marketing efforts and determine what's worked well and what hasn't. Look at your target audience, competition, and overall business goals, and use this information to inform your future marketing decisions. If you're new to business and don't have analytics yet, then you need to define your target audience and create a perfect customer persona. In order to define your target audience, first you need to think about the type of people that are most likely to need your service. From there, you can start to turn that information into customer personas by identifying what your customers look like. Where do they live? How old are they? What type of jobs do they have? And where do they spend their time online and in real life? For example, if I wanted to get more event planners to hire me for their parties, I would build a perfect customer persona that looks like this. Meet event planner Lauren. Through my research, I've found that Lauren is a busy, middle-aged, small business owner that's married with children. She's college educated and lives in a middle-class neighborhood. She spends her time on Pinterest and other social media sites online and attends bridal showers and networking events in real life. Her goals are to grow her business, make it more efficient, and spend more time enjoying life with her family. Her challenges are juggling a million things at once, all while trying to make her next event better than the last. Now I can take this info and use it to create a unique selling proposition that will likely grab her attention. For example, if I were trying to target Lauren on social media, I would run ads on Facebook and Instagram, targeting all event planners in middle-class neighborhoods in my area. My copy would read something like, wow your clients every time, from mouth-watering food and beverages to an easy breezy booking experience, Black Lab Events is the best choice for food and beverage catering in Southern California. As you can see, the better you know who your customers are and where they spend their time, the easier it is to develop effective marketing strategies. Once you have a clear understanding of your current situation and who your customers are, it's time to set SMART goals. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Actionable, Relevant, and Time-Bound Goals. These goals should align with your overall business objectives and be realistic and achievable. Examples of marketing goals could include increasing website traffic by a certain percentage, boosting social media engagement, or reaching a specific number of new customers. Okay, now that we have a clear understanding on how to build a perfect customer persona, it's time to start planning our marketing strategies. The best way to do this is by using a content calendar. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to download the free content calendar. It's linked in the description of this video. Let's jump in it. Okay, so you'll see here in the content calendar, we've started you off with some example ideas just so you can get to know how everything works. Um, let's just jump in and look at a couple of these things. So here we have the channel, meaning where are we going to release this material? Is it going to be a blog? Is it going to be SEO? Is it going to be a newsletter, YouTube, etc.? Um, then we have the format. Um, you can push the little edit pencil if you want to add new formats to your list. Um, is it paid or is it not paid? What's the budget if it is a paid ad? Uh, when do we want to release the material? What's the priority? What's the status? The campaign theme, um, the topic, additional details. And if we slide on over, we'll see any links to free giveaways um, and any analytics that you want to track. So let's just jump into the top example. 
um, just to get a feeling for how all of this works. So personally, I like to start off by thinking about what channel I'm gonna be um, executing and what topic. So I'll usually just bang out a bunch of different topics on one channel at a time, just kind of a brainstorm session. There's no bad ideas. I can always delete anything I don't like. But with this top one, I say, teach newly engaged couple how to navigate a plan, how to navigate planning a wedding. This is gonna be a blog article. Um, the theme is Wedding Planning 101, and I already have ideas out here to create a series on that. Um, and then over here, I say promote on social media and in a newsletter. That's a big thing. A lot of people forget to promote, so they'll create all their marketing materials, but they won't go promote them. And if you don't promote them, no one sees them. So what's the point of creating them in the first place? So with this, I can promote it on social media and in a newsletter, and then I can offer a free giveaway to collect email addresses. That's You'll see a lot. I do that a lot with my blog. Um, it's a tactic I use a lot. And uh, I want to generate emails so that I can follow up on newsletters and have a way to you know, contact these customers. So generally, I'll write a blog article on a complicated topic and then give a, have a giveaway that they can download if they give us their name and email that makes that topic easier to handle. Um, so that's the strategy there. And then once I create that asset, I'll just put the link to it here so that I have that. Um, so another way is affiliate partners. And I want to mention this one because it's my absolute favorite and I recommend all new people, even if you're established, to really focus on affiliate partners and build up your network of vendors and venues and people who can refer you. So I'm going to do cold outreach on this. Um, let's jump to the topic because typically I'll, I'll come up with the channel and then go to topic and then come refill all of this in. So I want to do a free office happy hour to get more corporate partnerships. So in doing this, I'm going to reach out to targeted companies that throw a lot of events like marketing agencies, for example, and offer a free happy hour in order to earn their business. So if I'm going to do a free happy hour, that's going to come at a cost to me. And that's when I can come back over here and start to think about, all right, how much will this cost? Well, I've done these before, so I know they cost around $500. And then I'm going to prioritize that for quarter one. And it's a high priority because this really, if you can get these deals and partnerships, it makes you a lot of money over the year. Um, again, these people, I'm looking for people who will hire me multiple times or refer me multiple times, like a wedding planner or a venue or a marketing agency. Um, and that's a very high value client. I put this in progress because I'm starting to work on the outreach for this. Um, in order to execute something like this, first I'm gonna create a list of planners. I'll probably do, uh, or sorry, of marketing agencies, probably just using like Google or something like that. And then once I have that list and contact information, I would create like just a simple spreadsheet. I would start doing outreach via email, follow up with a phone call, email, and you know, it takes time and persistence, but most people are receptive to like free booze for their staff on a Friday afternoon. Um, so it's not too hard of a sale. It's just kind of getting your foot in the door and explaining who you are and what you're doing and why you're doing it. So, so with this now, if I want to plan this and like when I'm going to have this launched or, or start doing all the outreach, I can click on the row and right click and then I can come down here to view more actions Oop, come on, and get linked to this range. And then now down here in the bottom tabs, I can go to January since this is a super high priority. And let's say I want to get it out by the end of this week, which is right here. So then I can type in um, free happy hour and then I can highlight it Click the little linky guy there, paste in the link to the row, and that's it. And then now when I click this, it'll take me right back to the highlighted portion that I'm working on. So it's easy to kind of come back and, and use both sides. So this is kind of like the parking lot of all your ideas. Then you're going to take the idea and you're going to put it into the calendar on when you're going to implement it. So pretty easy to use and very, very effective so that you are always delivering great content in a timely manner because that is the most important part to marketing. Once your marketing plan is in place, it's important to use analytics to track your progress. This way, you know what's working and what's not and can make adjustments as needed. Use tools like Google Analytics to track website traffic, social media analytics to track engagement on your social media channels, 
and email marketing software to track open and click-through rates on your email campaigns. For example, here are some analytics from some of my email marketing campaigns. Now, as I go through each campaign, I'm gonna look through you know, how many was sent to make sure my email list is good, uh, how much, how many were delivered, um, how many were opened, and then how many were clicked. So these are great stats here, 98% sent. That means I have a good email list. I'm not getting a bunch of bounce backs. Um, I had 39% people open that it sent to. That's actually really good for email. And 9% clicked at 14 clicks. So that's really good. And I can come look at the next one and see I had a 99% send rate. That's really good. 30% uh, opened it, another you know good stat, but only 2% clicks, only two clicks. So not so bueno on that one. Let's look at one more. All right, 98% sent, great. 35% delivered, perfect. 9% clicked, that's amazing. So I have 11 clicks there, that's really good. And then I'll start to analyze these and so I can again come up with what's working and what's not working. Could it be the content? Could it be the time that I send it, the time of day or the day of week? All of these things really do matter uh, when you're planning out all your marketing strategies. So in this case, I have a newsletter uh, promoting the holidays and I'm just driving people right to pricing. So I'm keeping it very simple. Here's our offering, um, click for pricing and so on and so forth. So a user can come here, this is attractive to them. They can click and that's gonna open up right here to the package. They can put in their event date, their head count, and then go ahead and get immediate pricing. I know this works, so I do this in a lot of my uh, campaigns, um, both for newsletters, for uh, blogs, videos. I'm always driving people to my offerings so that they can see you know, how much I cost, make sure we're a good match there, and see how awesome our food is. So that's the basics to analyzing your marketing. You wanna go through all the data, you wanna track that data on your marketing calendar, and then you wanna start ident to identify what does work and what doesn't, and obviously do more of what works. The last step to maximize your marketing efforts is to review and update your campaigns as needed. This is so important. If something's not working, don't just continue doing it. You want to tweak it, change the photo, change the copy, A-B test it against something else until you figure out a way to make it work or scrap it and try a new idea. The whole thing is you can't be afraid to try new ideas and experiment. That's marketing. Unfortunately, there's no magic bullet to what works. You just got to try. And when you figure it out, you double down. Creating a comprehensive marketing plan and consistently executing it throughout the year is the key to maximizing your marketing efforts. By following these steps, you can set SMART goals, stay organized with a content calendar, track your progress in analytics, and make adjustments as needed. Remember that your marketing plan is a living document and should be reviewed and updated regularly. Okay. Now it's time for you to put this video into action. And don't forget to download the free content calendar in the description. If you want a better way to sell your products online, definitely check out e-cinch.com. That's in the description as well. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. We'll keep pumping out educational content like this to help you grow your business. With that said, have an awesome day and good luck with your marketing efforts.